everyone, it's Shona and welcome back to episode 3 of Our City's Vlogs. Work and education have been the two things on most people's minds since coronavirus first came around. The most hard-hitting group has been young people. employment has been badly affected, research has showed that education will apparently be the hardest hit. Many students have lost their part-time work that they rely on to support their studies. When asked to describe life in three words, a third said boredom and around a fifth described life as repetitive. I understand that the situation most people are facing, whether that's being out of work, in work or in school, that's becoming increasingly challenging. But remember, we are all in this together, and you're not alone. Hi, my name's Ryan Veal. Um, I'm a full-time turn electronic musician. My name is Rain Jade Allen, and I am an artist, and I'm based in the northeast of England at the minute, but I'm from Belfast. Hi, I'm Oshin. I'm 22, and I'm currently second year in history at Queen's University, Belfast. From uh, March to June, I was basically studying from home. Uh, I personally found it quite difficult and uh, really struggled to get my work done, uh, namely anxiety about what was going on in the world and also just uh, my own anxiety about getting my work done. This year's been pretty difficult as kind of how I make my money has completely changed and I've had to kind of massively adjust to everything that's changed in the world. My career's definitely been affected. I went to university, uh, got a first class degree in drama, performing arts. I then went on to work in Theatre Royal Newcastle. I also had two theatre companies, one of which was putting on small festivals for new artists in the Northeast with plays and performances or ideas for plays and performances. Um, and we would help them put them on, on stage and get them the recognition that they deserve. I had to go and get a new job. Um, theatre has kind of gone on hold for me. It's made me struggle really really with uh, the way in which I do my work. I'm coming back after what was essentially a five month break from uni. I, I don't know, I feel it's quite weird to be doing all my assignments from home, uh, even just doing assignments again after like the way everything's changed and going straight into them without having any face-to-face -face interactions outside of over Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever is really weird. I spent the first four months of COVID learning video techniques, editing techniques, and essentially just started, you know, going for video work and it was, it was it was very stressful. It was very stressful having to leave, um, essentially, like a, like a career that was kind of taken off um, to pursue something else. But it's paid off really well, and it, as a result, it was like the the mental health issues I might have had um, kind of haven't really, you know, surfaced now because I'm able to pay my bills. I'm able to stay creative. I coped by walking a lot. I got out a lot in the fresh air. I think it really does help. Taking time for myself making sure I had a good meal every day, uh, writing something that I wanted to write just because, um, even if it wasn't any good, just keeping it anyway, because I might be able to make something better out of it. It was just taking it easy and giving myself time to adjust. I, I knew that it didn't have to happen straight away, so. And that there's a number of resources that helped me, such as I Inspire Wellbeing were great. I was talking to them through my uni and they were really helpful with basically helping me like uh, talk to someone and just kind of like uh, discuss a lot of the weird emotions I was experiencing over lockdown. I felt that the Samaritans are really good. I haven't actually made use of them over lockdown, but I have in the past. And it, since they have a 24 hour free phone, I've always found that they're very helpful. Especially if you are feeling down or you're in a bit of a bad place, they're uh, always there to listen and they're always there to kind of help you rationalize your thoughts. Yeah, like I, I spend literally an hour or two every night on YouTube just learning the new techniques or trying to figure out how something was done that I didn't understand. So I'd say for anybody, you know, don't think you can't do anything. Um, you just need to spend the hours and learn it. It was, yeah, it was being easy on myself was the real way I could. I'm just hoping that someday it'll come back to normal, but until it does, it's up to me to just make the best of it and, and keep myself safe. And I think that's really important for everybody to, to be able to do. And I know it's it's a lonely time. So if you need to reach out, do it. People want to hear from you. You matter and you exist. I'm sure everyone's struggling over lockdown, you know, dealing with uh, loneliness, anxiety about the state of the world, you know, if we'll ever return to normal. Um, 
Yeah, I just wanted to say that I've definitely found all the resources I've mentioned helpful and uh, yeah, just communicate with people if you are feeling lonely. Um, give one of the places I mentioned call and yeah, uh, good luck. As bleak and endless these current situations might seem, there's still a fair amount of support out there for you, but in current mindsets, it can be hard to find, so that's why we found a few for you. We'll be attaching some links to this video that will lead you to some advice you may need, whether it's for mental health, financial support or online learning. These systems are put in place to help, so don't be afraid to ask for it. Never lose hope and just take one day at a time.